Sports News this morning, Saga Gymnastics has found a way to engage its students during this pandemic. They've gone virtual. Casey Shores shows us how. Sandia Acrobatics Gymnastics Academy, also called Saga, isn't filled with the dozens of athletes usually flipping, twisting, and flying in the air of this gym. Employees like the owner, Erin Rice, miss their kiddos every day. Just the smiling faces of all of the kids, being in contact with them and knowing that they're excited about what they're doing. But they've been able to keep in touch with free classes on Zoom Monday through Friday. About 20 to 25 athletes train each day. Uh, it's great for their um, activity levels and to burn some energy while they're stuck at home. They're learning their rolling skills, their forward their handstands, their cartwheels. Those are a lot of skills done at home. So it could seem dangerous if kids try to use a couch as gym equipment. But think again. We are not jumping on the furniture. Before signing up, parents and kids are asked to watch a safety video with There's tips on what is and isn't safe to use. To Instructors say parents can also jump in to help their kids. Tuck and roll. Good job. Rice says the online classes aren't the same as in-person training but it still boosts everyone's spirits. We get to see the kids, which is really important to us. Casey Torres, QB5 